Hello everyone. Welcome back to one of our episodes about fundamental analysis. Today we will talk about justified price to book value. This is one of the way to evaluate or to value banks in the stock market. We've talked before about uh, price to earnings ratio, actually justified price to earnings ratio, which is valuation for stocks in the market, usually non-financial services, non-financial firms like manufacturers and services provider, providers, but uh, this was based on uh, justified earnings, meaning based on the company's own fundamentals. Today we will do the same for banks. We'll talk about justified price to book value for banks. So what we need to do here is to basically look at the breakdown of this ratio to see how we can evaluate or give a fair value for a bank. Okay, the price of uh, a, a, a stock is basically, as we know from this Gordon growth formula, uh, it's dividends of next year divided by cost of equity minus growth rate of that dividends. So let's break this down. The dividends is actually EPS of next year, EPS1, times the payout ratio, how much you're going to pay out of the earnings as dividends, divided by cost of equity minus G, cost of equity minus growth. Okay. What you need for this is to have the book value in the denominator on the left-hand side of this formula, or the, this equality. So basically, we need to divide the left-hand side by book value and also do the same for the right hand side. So how is it going to be? So if you divide left hand side price 0 by book value, it's going to be equal to EPS 1 divided also by book value. Okay, And we'll talk about book value 0. We'll talk about this uh, the latest book value per share for this bank. Then you multiply by payout ratio, the same you just continue with the formula, divide by cost of equity minus G. Okay. Let's look at this EBS divided by book value. What does it really mean? This is basically actually the definition of return on equity. How come? Because it's earnings per share divided by book value. It's actually ROE. So if it's multiplied by Again, price uh, payout ratio, then you continue with the formula, which is cost of equity minus G. Okay. Then you come up with this price to book value. But if you remember this other formula, growth rate equals ROE times 1 minus payout ratio. 1 minus payout ratio is actually the retention ratio of this company, of this bank. So the higher the retention, the higher the growth. The higher the payout, the lower the growth. Okay, so this is the retention ratio, and the growth is now a function of ROE and payout ratio. Growth will increase by having a higher uh, retention ratio or a higher return on equity. Let's work around this and replace the payout ratio in the, in the below formula with the other payout ratio coming from the above formula. Basically, if you reshuffle these terms, payout ratio would be equal to 1 minus growth divided by ROE. Then let's take this payout ratio and substitute it in our uh, uh, the formula in the middle here. And let's see what it's going to be like. It's going to be ROE times the payout ratio, which is 1 minus growth over ROE. 1 minus growth divided by ROE. Then you divide all this term by cost of equity minus G. Okay. Let's a bit uh, make it more simple or simpler uh, by uh, multiplying. So it's the price to book value of this year should be equal to multiply ROE by 1. That's ROE. Minus, if you multiply ROE by G over ROE, it, they cancel each other out, then, then you come up with ROE minus G. So it's going to be ROE minus G. 
then you divide it by cost of equity minus G. This is actually the price to book value multiple. This is the justified price to book value multiple for a bank. We usually value banks using the value book value multiples. It's based on fundamentals. It's based on three main factors: growth rate, return on equity, and cost of equity. Another name for this price to book value model is actually the ROE model. They are sometimes they call it also warranted equity valuation because it's the valuation for this equity or this bank warranted by the fundamentals. Thank you very much, and we'll meet again in an upcoming episode. Thank you. Thank you.